Okay, you up here clacking vlog time once again. The time is indoor. So fuck you, son. Okay, try it out there. It was a bad fight trying here. And dad got headphones, mom, from where. Hopefully, soon coming. But she come get in the middle, I'm okay. I don't like starting here. So, anyway, today you got the film Penny for Your Laugh. Written by Evan Gore and Heather Lombard. With story by Creator as well. Back and forth to motion the sort of buy stuff, go back and especially with all the other episodes where they had to have a big hand in getting some of them out. Anyway, so and this episode, Pepper finds Farrell, comedy sick, and getting old, so she tries something new in the form of insult comedy, and it seems to go pretty well until she kind of hurts Penny. Uh, meanwhile, Blythe stands up for the Bicket twin against a bully. Me, me Perkin, and after that, the big kids are, they, they are, uh, they're happy about that. And they decide to let Blythe become one of their friends and let her in their circle. And from this, Blythe starts to kind of change in her some friends as well. So, <laughs> the cup is going a bit on the device to the side, because lately a lot of people don't seem to care for it too much, and uh, and to an extent, I kind of see why, but at the same time, I happen to think to quite like it, I think. And I think the reason why the problem come in is three particular writers. For most of the show, they do comedy from an episode, or more like episodes that don't have that title. You know, they don't require a lot of the story. You know, a comedy episode, or if there is, like, you know, a story, it's like that. Too big. I mean, you, you can't end up. Uh, what me and Mori? <laughs> uh, and, um, uh, well, well, you have a destruction of our episode by them. And primarily calling our show, Dave the Barbarian, was one show they had, we wrote, wrote for that very comedy in, in general. So, then they can go more dramatic story, and can go the Helicopter Dad, which, and both two episodes, and we're golden. So, they have a few problems that some people don't. Some people are not careful, which is why after two episodes they can't just go back to comedy for the most part. Um, but, you know, I do think it actually worked out for the go because the thing is, this one's like the fifth episode, fourth, two part um, episode, and I thought they're probably trying out a few different things, and the only thing they tried out, I don't know how it can't work, but anyway, this was the first episode that I remember having a big response to. Because I've, I've watched the show, I was started to get a chance. You know, I did like both of the episodes, and yeah, you know, I was pretty very funny. The next part that was going to get quite an emotional response kind of me, and it's the episode that proves the show can do some deep emotion as well. The other episode was just fun, but the episode that, like NLP, it could do emotion pretty well. You know, and that's why I kind of would connect with this one, because so it's like, not anything that could going to be a moment, uh, that I would be the first one. But I think for that good I would say I think really good, that's good. Um you know. And the you know, but um I suppose we can talk about the B plot for that's the more as you know, talk about the songs uh for it. Uh, the songs are not really fair, but they're good. The biscuit song we have is really catchy and you know, and for all buffing in general, Ren Quag gets a name in the when he first named, yet the credits still call him Butler. Um, uh, we try to fully like him because they all come in on the rap. I did that more times. <laughs> you know, um, you know, back up on the song, Ren Lakari song with Pepper. Pepper, Pepper might get some scene like it, but it's actually a really emotional song. Like, I'll call it pretty funny with some of the torture in it. And that was the emotional moment for the episode where I was like, oh. You know, so, um, and one of two episodes with two major songs, you know, the other being real close. But, so yeah, go so B plot for that's the more the like of one. So, I went into it kind of a look at Loki Shop thing, and yeah, the problem that down to it starts because she gives you the whole prompt, starts with staying up for a biscuit. So, because all this final gout, it's almost like okay, she shouldn't have done that, which. You call me a trick human being, you were pretty careful about calling her that. <laughs> and I, you know, and the show definitely 
between the Xenogre and Handbag, it seems like they want you to know that you should play Nintendo to a book, which I like that, but if I do that on that one, I'll get to go at length about that one again. Um, you know. You know, and of course, Black Friend got way too quick to definite everything. I didn't get in. She started to give a bit, get to like, fur, 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 you know, like, guy, get from the perspective of Bitcoin, everything's wrong yet. You know, and they're being a bit, you know, off at the start of it. But later on, Black does genuinely change. And that's when they have to, you know, go. They end up becoming right, you know, you know, kind of like in both Buckrick and that can't. They both will trick you with this. Um, um, I can put Kevin Robert to spin everyone. <laughs> but, um, but this is a episode that go out you to buy why they would be all, help Jeff, get to go check for the game, scare you, do this young me and Sue, mostly Sue, because they didn't know who big friend would be. They picked the interesting character and Sue had to go back. Um, and Jeff for, like, go back into bed. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I think that plot kind of works well because at least in this plot, life is actually in changing due to the influence on her. Compare that to from like High School Musical 2, where he doesn't change at all and everyone's all bitchy, bitchy, bitchy. And that's another remake make him a problem with something I don't. Well, that part I don't like. Yeah. <laughs> um. You know, go, I think that plot. Be like, oh, hi. I think. I, have to wait I think that. I I think that I think that plot mostly works with be yeah, you know, because I do think she's done actually change and she look at the luck and but I will admit that the weaker punk and got code and honestly if that like the main plot I probably wouldn't call the acting great. Like I kind of do now, well, but any time I do think it mostly works to an extent. Versus going over attempt at it, but I can I come people bits on that. Now on to the A plot, which um you know not too dissimilar to a front front up code. And my horrible thumbnail will inform you. Um, I could probably all give a bigger comparison than I did before the V up code, but on it. Own um, the plot is really what I like this one. It's like Pepper then she, I mean, what I like about that that they show at the start that she do you know, people actually like she does all variety of jokes and making to like it when she goes too far with it. It's you know, like you know, it's like they're kind of saying that a little bit of that is fine. You just don't go too far and no, some people can't take a joke well and they can give things. People will be kind of that kind of okay. You know, like, then, you know, we will, you know, come with us. Now I'll look and, you know, okay if you. Yeah, very early. And early on, Penn seemed to probably would have like, kept it. But later on, when she went too far. Right? You know, and you know, given that way, way things work out, I can't why Pepper don't kind of went through doing that. And the second Penn is surprised she feels so bad that you can't do her well, especially with the song. And, that, and again, and that's why I think Pepper don't think like all the code throughout the code. And you know, some people probably get me pain probably thinking, but like, you know, that contact, I would be, I would grab, I'd be like, oh, the fuck you. I know you swear a bunch of things, but you know, I'm failing to swear. You know. And the emotion in that, and moral in that plot, making it work really well. I tend to like the kind of story, you know, you know, I do like Uncle Connie, but I really like that. It can go too far and kind of show the danger of that, you know, go. And yeah, some of the problems of, it's all going to be minor, but the emotion in more way drank through the first cover, but short story short, tell, and I'll be made to the game to the writer, but it's no work, you know, and that is why I can I have the rating for this one, I don't give a rank any, but um, I'm like, we're going to rate it great because of that. And the connection I kind of have with it for that. We can go after the comparison of four jokes. Well, four jokes are trying to be funny, so it's like, you know, the moral thing for a side thing. So it's not fair to compare them, but, you know, it's fun to do, so. But the difference in that one, I think, is that 
Bunch of pretty much had to be tortured into making giving up on the joke while he heard it like, you know, once you start crying, you know, Pepper like, oh no, I'm gonna can't you can't you you know, like that up we kinda he but not that being nearly a me and Pepper can't go. Bunch of the important thing about that episode, bunch of can't go like that doing a variety of horror jokes, like one joke. Mine could take more than one phone, a phone, a light bulb. Yeah, you pick know, that that one thing and drag it home. You can't go go stupid, which can get horrible more than just a uh, stupid, you know. Yeah, and you know, and then it's finally get, you know, and Candy and totally, you know, she he told her one thing. She's like, okay, like that probably handled a little better. What came back and the payoff a bit better if I had to compare, you know. Yeah, of course, it can be a little funnier, but that could be comedy. And Gun King, I don't know if we're going to until we get too far, like whack. Yeah, okay, again, again, a four joke being both. Also, of course, I think I have one of my favorite lines in the show. To pity you're going to virus, but a short threat like one. Funny because it's true. But now we're on time, I'm like, thank God. Thank you for the point to wrap it up. But, um, I, I didn't defend the thing too much here, but it's like, you know, I think. I'm okay with both plot can get the A plot pepper, you know, done, you know, he wise, she wanted to do it. And in the end, you know, she ended up hurting people too much and apologizing. And then the cup plot but at least actually changed her get to the you know, the game and claim she changed. So that's why uh, that's why I think both plot with B plot works definitely yeah, plot very well and it's emotional. Even got some funny moments not done, but you know, you know, her joke one of you gang for the claws great. Um, you know, good call, good. It was the first attempt of being much recording the fab card that showed me, hey, they can actually do something, you know, been much of a guy like MLP. And that's why I think you're very good early up, but I think like a couple people, a couple people might get too far, people hate me too much, but I can't see why some people might get more off about some of the elements. But I do like how it showed that you know, life, rational machine can change on a dime. And we knew that if you were up, go, but more on that, I do head drawing and the bubble. <laughs> you know, go. So I think this is a very, really good one, even though I think my couple people, you know, can you could have thought it. But people should react like, looking earlier up, go, go, it kind of can't that they didn't have everything perfectly yet. Um, you know, but still, it is a good one. And if you like just a long guy, I thought it would be. I thought it would be in 10 minutes. I think like I had to explain, and then I think a lot more thoroughly. Go. There you go, I think it's still pretty solid up to fight for vlog, you know, it is not going to go So, that doesn't press that, on to now to pick out next week. Wait, can I... Just... Come on. There you go. 59, let's go to that. Ah, 50, uh, that week, welcome scary about the jungle, everything, yay, ooh, we gotta talk about Curtin Rider that time, yay, I'm waiting for that, so I'll see you next time for the one title ever, but in that book, definitely not that. So I will see you at time for that. Goodbye.